plows through that, just as he did with the Asian girl. Neil is out. Tard Wrangler finally catches up and picks Neil to bring him back to Tard HQ, just as he's come back to consciousness. Neil sees me as being he is, as he's being carried away. Hey, Pill. Neil is back, everybody. Continue second column. So, B. As I was telling everybody, my stories of Neil. Continued. B in sixth grade still. Only a week left of school. Neil has been rather quiet lately, mainly because me and my friends now let him sit with us at lunch and whatnot. Because did you go to the, the castle? Sorry. No, I'm I'm not I'm not even okay. in realm. Yeah. Uh, where was I? Neil has been rather quiet lately, mainly because me and my friends now let him sit with us at lunch and whatnot. Because he has never disrupted anything, and there's a possibility of Neil unleashing his wrath again. What the fuck? Sounds like. Anyway, wait, where was I? Oh, no, I lost Unleashing it. Unleashing the wrath again. Killian, the link's broken. Yeah, well, too bad. There's a possibility of Neil unre unleashing his wrath yet again, so James won't near him without Tard Wrangler supervision often. AI teacher thinks it's a wonderful idea for us to throw an end of party Tard, uh, party with the Tards. Teacher has no idea of the sequence of events she has set forth. This party is to be held three days before the end of school, and it is to be 80s themed. Be at the day of the party. I have my hair slicked back, and be in a white t-shirt because I'm lazy and unoriginal. The AI class is set up the entire thing. Soda, candy, food, music, and whatnot. I talk to my friends as we wait for the Tards to enter. The Tards make their appearance into the gymnasium where this is being held. Most of the Tards look, well, retarded. Neil is dressed up as Michael Jackson because he looks fucking badass. Neil walks over to us. Everybody says hi. Hey, pal. Neil seems a bit off today, though. Lots of energy. Turns out, Neil skipped out on his meds today. Not a very good thing. Neil equals ticking time bomb of raptardness. Can I ask what this is? <laughs> this is a um, 4chan post. Well, it's a collection of 4chan posts about uh, someone's experience with a tard. <laughs> Specifically, Neil. Neil's a fucking boss, by the way. It gets cool. better. I'm not, even, I'm not even halfway done I'm yet. Listening, I'm listening. James walks over to us. I can already sense his bad intentions. Hey, gay boy, what's up? Neil just stares at him in a way I've never seen before. What's wrong with Neil? Neil drops his soda on the ground. Oh, shit. Neil walks away. Wait, what? James shouts after him. You gotta cry, gay boy! Neil walks behind one of the curtains in the gymnasium. Nothing can be seen in the darkness over there. A minute later, Neil appeals all, appears all the way across the gym on top of the stage we had in there. He is completely naked, underwear and all, aside from a single glove that Michael wears. <laughs> Engage Rap Tard Screech, the Tard Rage Invoker. The Tard's Frenzy. The Downy Tard, tard from my original story kicks over the stereo. Kids just wanna have, kids just wanna, kids just wanna have fun. It continuously plays that single part of the song. There are no wranglers around to subdue the Tards. The rage ensues. Neil jumps off the stage and charges James. James is tackled to the ground by the naked Neil. Get off me, gay boy! Neil proceeds to rub his chode like uncircumcised penis all over James's oh, neck oh and chest. <laughs> the roar is stopped. Who's the gay boy now, James? Oh god, this sight is amazing. The tards run out of the gymnasium crying and screaming now that they can think straight since the screech has ended. The only people left in the gymnasium are me, the teacher, and my friends looking at Neil wipe his palace on James' face. <laughs> Neil gets N Neil gets up off James. His deed has been done. He proceeds to get dressed again, and just as he finishes, the tarred wranglers all finally arrive. Too late, bros. The teacher retells the things that has ensued, and they walk over to carry Neil and James out. Neil walks up to me and hands me a co a quarter for no apparent reason. As he's being carried away, Neil looks just about as peacefully as he always does because he does not give a single fuck. He never did, and he never will. Neil waves as they exit through the double doors and screams, Bye, Pill! I wave back at Neil. as This is the last time I will see him in over a year. Bye, Neil. I still have that quarter. Continue. Being the last marking period of 7th grade, Neil has been quiet for a while now because the principal claims that he will not deal with the same stuff the grade school did. Neil does not give a fuck, but he is inactive for a while. My classes no longer have a tard day, so I can't get to see Neil as often. In my luck, my lunch has moved to the same period as all the tards. 
Neil starts sitting with us again to, to the, with the blessings of his Tard Wrangler. Everything is going fine, and then I see somebody walking over to us that looks familiar. Oh shit, nigger. It's James, in all of his dickishness. He has started to grow a pedophile-esque mustache. He's a, he's a foot behind Neil, just breathing. Why you guys let a gay boy like Neil sit with you? I calmly tell him to go away, because I don't want to start any trouble. I'd stay if I want. Proceed to ignore him. Frustrated by nobody giving a fuck about him, he pushes Neil out of his seat and sits in it. Hey James, that wasn't nice. Let Neil sit down again. No, Neil is a gay boy. Neil has had enough of this shit. Commence the raptard screech. A lot, new lot of tards have yet to feel the wrath of Neil's screech rattle through their braids, making them ultra sensitive. Tards all rage. Food is thrown. It happens to be hot, hot dog day. Tiny meat penises replicas are flying everywhere. Neil picks up a hot dog, starts smacking him on the neck and chest with it, while simultaneously screeching directly into James's eardrum. Kind of reminded me of the time Neil rubbing his dick on James's chest. <laughs> the Wranglers are almost done restating the raging tards and are about to move on to Neil and James. Neil sees this and goes for the finisher. He rises his hand just as he did in the first clash of the tards. Falcon punch charging. Just as the last of the raging tards is restrained, Neil hits James's nuts as if he's trying to kill every little James that is stored up in there. James faints out of the pain. Neil silences the screech, sits down, and eats the hot dog he had just rubbed all over James. Tard wranglers finally arrive and carry them both off to HQ, where a cafeteria watches in awe. Neil looks as if nothing is wrong. He simply waves at me and utters that familiar slur of words. Bye, Pill! <laughs> Continued. <clears throat> Be in 8th grade now. First marking period. Old special ed teacher quit for Wait, personnel. Does this go up to high school? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. I personally think school? she couldn't handle the wrath of Neil. This year, there's a special class you can take if you're more interested in using a period of your day to help the Tards. Obviously, I signed up in order to be with Neil. More so I could just see if I could, if any more hilarity ensues. I walk into Tard HQ that day, and there's a new teacher. She's young, seems to really enjoy what she's doing. Everything looks as if it's been going well for the day. Her day is about to take a very unexpected turn for the worse. I'm sitting down on the carpet with Neil, helping him read a book about Dr. Seuss. This kid really fucking loves his Dr. Seuss. Neil doesn't understand what half the words mean, so I do my best to help him by explaining the meanings. We come across a word that neither of us knew. Neil thinks I'm only not telling him because I wanted to figure out for himself, which I did sometimes just because I felt it was better for him than me just telling him. Neil started to get frustrated, and for the first time it's directed at me, not somebody else. Oh God, help me, please. So where am I? I just lost my spot. Bad, bad, too, bad, too. Is it? Ah, oh, there it is. I do my best to calm him down, though, and but he's stuck on the thought that I know what it means. Neil engages in the mighty raptard burst roar. For you new guys in here, he does this when he's about to wreck shit. I'm about to die. It doesn't matter that I was half a foot taller than him. I am scared shitless. Everybody except for the teachers know. He's telling a story. No. Let's see, where was I? Damn it. Oh, let's say I'm going to die. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't matter that I was half a foot taller than him. I was scared shitless. Everybody except the teacher knows what is about to happen. They just watch and on in Josh horror, as there is nothing they can do. Teacher runs over thinking she can help. Bad idea. Neil engages Raptard Screech, enraging his tard brethren. James is on the floor pissing himself. The others are throwing <laughs> shit at each other in an utter rage that Neil Screech invokes. The teacher gets hit with a stapler, traveling at the speeds previously unseen by man. Cool story, bro. K.O. Neil now turns toward me and stopped his screech momentarily to talk. And tell me what it means, Bill. In desperation, I tell him it's a bad word that nobody is supposed to say. Neil believes me entirely. He goes the rest of his life, as far as I know, convinced that acumen is just as bad as a word as fuck. <laughs> All his anger immediately disappears. He gives me that toothy grin and simply sits down as if I just shared a secret with him. I sit down next to him and he whispers me, don't worry, I won't tell anyone what Arkerman means. Okay, Neil. Card Wranglers burst through the door. One carries Neil, the other carries the new teacher to the nurse's office. As Neil is exiting H target, um, Tard HQ, his tooth again remains. Bye, Pill! He has no idea what the fuck she's getting into. <laughs>